One of the most satisfying things with building the Hi-Fi system is seeing how it progresses and genuinely get to a point where you can say you enjoy music a bit more. But where does the limit stop and does Hi-Fi ever get to the point where it becomes an addiction? Well, in this video today, I thought I'd explore this subject and um, give my overall thoughts uh, regarding it. Please do let me know in the comment section down below what you think, since I'm quite interested to hear what you guys think. And um, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about today is from personal experience. But um, yeah, drop a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video as well. That would be greatly appreciated. So, hi-fi as a hobby. It can, I would say, become something that you you sort of develop a dependence on. Now, the hi-fi itself, I wouldn't say, is the addictive part of it. It is the music and, of course, listening to that music. I mean, I'm sure most of you will probably know that, you know, when we listen to music, it releases the neurotransmitter dopamine, which is the feel-good uh, chemical inside the brain. So, you know, having all this dopamine uh, flood your system when you listen to music uh, normally can, of course, you know, elevate your mood and make you feel more positive about things. But I think it kind of, you know, ramps up quite a few levels when you listen on a decent hi-fi system. Even on lower end gear, if you're stepping up from, let's say, a consumer brand like Sonos, for example, and you switch over to even an entry level hi-fi system, you're going to be experiencing a level of sound that you haven't heard before. And of course, the more you know, detailed a sound is, the more clarity we're getting through, um, the more bass weight and the precision of that bass, for example, is going to be more satisfying and it's going to overall lead us to having a more enjoyable experience of the music. So how do things get out of hand then and what can you do to prevent this from happening? Well, let's say you're sitting out there and you know, you've got a few thousand dollars um, to spend on a hi-fi system, for example or even let's say a thousand dollars, you can definitely build a system for that amount of money if you know what you're doing. So I think one of the common traps people fall into is thinking that just buying the best reviewed equipment or the highest rated equipment and putting it all together in a system is the uh, best route to go down. And in my experience, that actually tends to be one of the worst things you can actually do. So let's say you've got a product out there what's getting five star ratings everywhere. Everybody's raving about it. It's like the best thing on the market for its particular kind of niche. Well, just because you plant that in your hi-fi system doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get amazing results because we have to remember that the synergy between the components is probably the most overlooked and most important aspect of a hi-fi system. So my advice would be is to try and keep all your components or as much as them as possible from the same brand. So let's say your electronics, for example, so your DAC and your amplifier, try and keep that from the same brand because Doing this will ensure you have a more matched sound and a sound which you can go on a deeper level with. But yeah, I kind of went off on a bit of a tandem there, kind of sort of, you know, went astray with the actual topic of this video today. But I did want to mention that since I haven't actually mentioned it on the channel before that the synergy, as I said, is very, very important. So we have to, to just to come back to kind of like, you know, the topic of today's video, and that is the addictive side of hi-fi. We have to remember that there are other things in life and it is very easy to get swept up in this hobby and think it's the only thing that matters and you end up spending thousands and thousands of pounds and before you know it you've i don't know you're in debt and you've got all these kind of issues so just remember that you know you can go outside you can spend some time with people you know there are other things in life apart from hi-fi equipment and music itself but that's not to say that of course hi-fi isn't important because anybody out there with a hi-fi system i'm sure they truly do love it and they do appreciate it but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below have you ever struggled with hi-fi addiction itself have you ever struggled with kind of building a system and finding it difficult to match components let me know what you think but yeah if you enjoyed the video today be sure to drop a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video do take care